Hi, Peter Jones, Chartered Surveyor, Author and Property Investor. And in this video, I want to think about whether buying a property below market value makes it a great deal and whether it makes it a great deal every time. And the short answer to that is no, I do not think it does. Now, in this day and age, we're all thinking about buying our properties BMV. If you know what BMV means, it means buying below market value. And that in itself is a little bit fraught because you have to know what the true market value is before you can actually buy a property BMV. And we could have a very long discussion and probably some of us could have a very heated discussion as to whether BMV actually exists in the real world or not. Personally, I think it does, but we'll leave that for a video for another day. So does buying a property BMV make it a great deal? Well, you'd think that buying a property cheap is the best way to buy a property, but it doesn't always work that way. And in fact, I have done another video well, I'll leave the link in the description where I talk about reasons why we may want to pay more, for example, an asking price, and it can still be a good deal. But I think that looking at it the other way, if we just assume that because we buy a property cheap or below market value, it is a great deal, then we're missing one of the fundamentals of property, which we must make sure is there every time we buy a property. And that is that if we're buying a property as an investment, that there is sufficient cash flow within the property to pay the costs of holding the property, including the mortgage. Because I've seen many, many investors who've gone out very excited as perhaps you know, they're buying their first property, they come across an opportunity and it, on the face of it, it looks like a wonderful opportunity. They can buy the property really cheaply and in their excitement, they get fixated on the purchase price as compared to the value and they don't check out the rental market. And I don't care how BNV you buy a property, if it turns out that because you haven't done your proper due diligence and you haven't researched the local rental market and it then turns out that there isn't really a rental market, that there aren't really the, the tenants to, who want to take that type of property in that type of area or there aren't tenants who want to pay you the rent which would make the figures work, then regardless of how BMV it is, it's not a great deal. You can buy a property for 25%, 30%, 50% BMV but if it's going to be empty half the time, and if you're buying it on a mortgage, which you probably should be because of all of the benefits that you'll get from gearing, which again we'll cover in a different video, then you're going to find that that property is just going to bleed you dry. You're going to probably have to subsidise the property from other earned income. And if you keep buying properties purely based on the price, just to get them BMV without researching whether there's a healthy, strong rental market for that property, or that type of property, then your business will very quickly go bust. So buying BMV is a good thing, don't mishear me, in the right context, depending upon which strategy you're following. But buying purely BMV without thinking about any other of the fundamentals which come into play in buying investment property is not a good thing, and you definitely don't want to do that. And if you come over to my website, www.thepropertyteacher.co.uk, and click on Learning with Peter, you'll find loads of great resources, including my best-selling home study course, The Successful Property Investor's Strategy Workshop, in which I'll take you through how I started my property business with literally none of my own money, and bought £2 million worth of property in just four years, and replaced my day job with passive income from the portfolio. It took me four years of trial and error to learn the best way to do this, but because I'm going to show you everything I did right so that you can copy it and everything I did wrong so that you can avoid it, I'm sure you can achieve far more than me and far more quickly. So please visit my website for full details of this and all of my other resources. And until next time, here's to successful property investing.